Hello and welcome. And today the topic of discussion is in C programming, we'll discuss accessing element of union in C. Like we have understood how to access member of structures in C in a similar fashion after studying union as we have already discussed the union. So after discussing union, we'll understand how to access members or element of union in C language. And I've already told you in my previous example, but again, let's have a brush up of all those things. So what we are doing here, we have created a union by the name of test having two variable x and y. And in function in main, I'm creating a variable by the name of t. The moment you create this variable, a block will be created. But now block will have only one block, one uh, uh, partition. Why? Because union takes the ma maximum size. This gives you four byte. This is four bytes, so maximum of this is four. So a four byte block is created and both will be shared by both and this block will be shared by both X and Y. So X and Y both will share the same block. Now what we are doing, we are doing T dot X. So how to access member of uh, uh, union, how to access member or element of union using dot operator. Like we have accessed member of a structure using dot operator in a similar fashion, we can also access member of member of union by dot operator. So T is a variable dot x that I'm, I'm talking of this element. So t dot x is equal to two. So what will happen Two will come here fine. So now what am I trying to do is that again, you, if you see that this is a comment that t dot y also get the value two because both x and y are sharing the same location. So if what is there inside x you say two then definitely y also has two because they both are sharing the same location now if you try to print the value of x and y, try to print the value of y using dot operator t dot x t dot y so t dot x is two you will get answer two t dot y you will get answer two now what you are doing is that you are t dot y that you are updating value of t y by 10. So what will happen? This 2 will change to 10. So what actually is taking place is that now this both mem this both variable or this both members are sharing this location, which is now updated by value 10. This is for byte. Fine. Okay. Now if you try to print what? If you try to print value of x, if you try to print value of y through t dot x and 3 t dot y, what do you get? You get value 10. So you get value 10. Fine. So here you get value 10. So now the the main thing which i wanted to tell you that in order to access members of in order to access elements of union you use dot operator can we use arrow operator yes in a similar uh, like structure members or element can be accessed by dot and arrow operator both in a similar fashion structure members are accessed by both the both this operators in a similar fashion union are also accessed through dot which i've already explained and through arrow also so let's see the another example so here what we have created we have created a union by the name of test and having two variable x having two members x and character y x is integer y is character now in main we have created a variable p1 so what is p1 p1 is a variable p1 is a variable and which is sharing both which is shared by both x and y so both x and y is sharing this p1 fine what am I doing is that I'm initializing P through dot operator P dot X is equal to 65. That is this value will have 65. So dot I have used dot operator. Now I will use arrow. So when to use arrow using pointer to a union. So for, for pointer to a structure, we have used arrow. Similarly, pointer to union will use arrow. So what we are doing is that we have created another variable. We have created another variable P2, which is pointer to a union like in a similar way, we create int a. What is a? a is a variable of integer type and int pointer p. What is pointer p? Pointer p is a variable of data type integer. What p will do? p will store address of a. What is pointer? Pointer which hold the address of another variable of same data type. In a similar fashion, what we are doing is that we are creating first pointer of a union test. So we have created pointer by the name of p2. Let address of this be 100. So now P2 is holding address of P1. So what is the address of P100? So P2 will have address 100. Now, what you are doing is that you are trying to access value of X and Y. So through arrow P, arrow X. So P2 arrow X. So P2 is what 100 and 100 
arrow x so what is 100 this address and what is 100 arrow x the value of this and you are using percentage d for this so for percentage d you will get this value as 65 now for p2y what is p2 again 100 and arrow y is again this 65 but you are trying to print using percentage c and percentage c will give you a correspondence character corresponding to this integer value and what is the ASCII value of capital A 65 so that's why you will get ASCII corresponding character of ASCII value which is A capital A so uh, what I was trying to tell you that member of union can be accessed through two operator one through dot and one through arrow what is arrow minus sign and greater sign fine okay so in a keyword you can get arrow through minus sign and greater sign fine so at last I'll say thank you so much for